Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today we're doing In Beauty Lip Glazes Part 2. I have the first part already up on my channel that will be linked below, but let's get into all of the new flavors they've released since that video was filmed. All right, so hi, hello. If you're new here, welcome. I am a massive fan of the N Beauty lip glazes, so much so that I have purchased every single flavor that has ever been released. I do have a part one that goes through the first seven, I think, which I accidentally left out the cotton candy. It's not my favorite, but I will link that video down below. I do go through pricing and formula more extensively in that video. This video is mainly going to be swatches and reviews of the new scents. That said, let's get into the first scent. So the first scent is glaze number eight and it is the mystery oil. So I was very excited when this came out. I will include swatches in this video. Now, I was kind of upset with some of the influencers who got this first because they told everybody what the mystery scent was and I was very excited to kind of figure it out on my own. But I will say that it's, it is very candy-like, almost like a sweet tart. I will have put a spoiler timestamp in there, but it is, yeah, very sweet tart like. Now this one is a kind of pH balancing lip oil. So you'll see in the clip that I inserted, I gave it about two minutes to set so you could really see with two layers on how pink it got on my lips. I'm just not a fan of the pH balancing lip products. It's just the same pink and that pink is not necessarily flattering for me. So. This was kind of a, a dud. The scent, really good. Sweet Tarts, another nostalgic. You'll see that in the first video that I filmed and probably moving forward in this video, a lot of these are just very nostalgic to me and a reason why I love this product so much is all the things that I said in the first video, but also because it really is kind of reliving that lip smacker collecting phase that I went through as a kid. So this one's okay. Out of three, I give it a two. It's kind of like right in the middle. Not my favorite, not the worst. We'll get into the worst, but yeah. And color wise, I give it a one. We're gonna do scent rating one to three and color one to three, I just decided. <laughs> Next up, which would have been the ninth release, we have Merlot. What can I say about Merlot? Color, gorgeous, stunning, love it on the lips. Color gets a three out of three for me, amazing. Now. I think the reason that the scent is a one for me <laughs> is because I set myself up for failure on this one because the expectations were quite high and I don't know why because the scent that I thought that it would lean towards is one of my favorite scents of all time and if it didn't give me a migraine I would have it in all the things and that is Black Cherry Merlot at Bath and Body Works. Black Cherry Merlot is like fruit roll-up meets cherry, like a cherry fruit roll-up, and I love it so much. And I was like, yes, that's what this is going to be, right? Why would I think that? There is no <laughs> there is no black cherry involved in the naming of this. The color, I think, maybe is where I got it because it is kind of like more of a brown cherry, but I just don't know what the scent is. I think maybe if you're a wine lover, which I'm not really, I don't, I don't really drink that much at all. It's giving a little bit of fruitiness, but not enough for me to consider wearing it. Like I've gotten very little wear out of this. I've gotten more wear out of the pH balancing color, if that tells you anything. However, as you saw, the color is absolutely stunning. It's just the scent. Fail. Scent, one out of three. Next up with their 10th release, they came out with the Fruit Punch flavor, which, as you can see in mine, 10 out of 10. Color is gorgeous. It's a nice kind of creamy coral, but not too overpowering. None of these really have a ton of pigment. The most pigmented one that we're gonna talk about today is probably Merlot, and I would say is Merlot across all of these, outside of maybe Cookie and one other that we'll talk about today. But this one, the Fruit Punch, 
This is OG 90s orange drink from McDonald's. And please help me figure this out. I need to Google this. Was it high C back then or was it orange drink? I just remember as orange drink, we used to get like the big rental jugs of it for like pool parties for me and my sister because we always did a shared pool party. The nostalgia, they just nail it with the nostalgic sense. The color is gorgeous. I love this one so much. Yeah, I, this is the one that I would recommend the most out of what we're talking about today. I've used it the most. I could see myself repurchasing this. It is so lovely in the spring and summer, especially. It's just, they nailed the color and the scent. Three for color, three for scent. All right, next up we have Pina Colada. So this would be, where do we leave off? This is 11. So their 11th scent being Pina Colada. A really nice goldy tan. And I almost didn't get this one because I'm not a huge Pina Colada lover. Um, I just don't really like coconut. And when people do Pina Colada scents, sometimes it leans into like sunscreen category or just like sickeningly coconut. I don't like that. This does not give me that. There is coconut. And honestly, it's almost like coconut with a touch of this, which is not pineapple, but it has that kind of sweet tanginess that something like a fruit punch would. It's very good. I am getting a little more coconut, but also the color is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just a nice wash of a bronzy lip gloss, but I do really love their shimmery ones. Not the glitter like the glazed donut. That's kind of more, there we go. It's more glitter in the tube if you can see that. Whereas the shimmer is very, very fine shimmer particles. And what that does is it just makes your lips look so juicy. It's really interesting to me because they, they went three releases Honestly, more than that. So they've really only released five of these shimmery shades out of all of them, which is really interesting because it's such a beautiful formula that really makes the lips look juicy. You'll see that in the video, but I honestly am so surprised by this. For the scent, I'm going to give it a two because it's not a knockout, but I knew that going into a pina colada. But it's, it's pleasantly surprising to me, but I will give it an absolute three for color. It's just stunning. All right, next up is another one that I contemplated on not getting, but at this point I wanted enough that I just, I need to know. This is one of those products that is good enough to me that I need to have the full encyclopedic knowledge of, and I want to experience them. And because I was pleasantly surprised with Pina Colada, I ended up getting cinnamon bun, which this color is absolutely stunning. It's deeper and maybe a touch. No, I would say deeper shade of this with more pink, but oh wow. The color is stunning. I know I didn't swatch the other ones, but absolutely stunning. A nice pinky beige. I will say next to cookie, you'll be able to see a much better representation of how pink it is because cookie is quite kind of more beige. So we have cookie here, much more beige. And then we have cinnamon bun here. So you can see a little bit more pink. And these are the kind of cream versions of these lips, which is my top favorite. I would say cream would be number one, shimmery number two, and then the kind of sheer gel would be my number three. But see, cinnamon bun is much more kind of almost peachy pink, really, whereas this is definitely a true beige with a hint of pink. The scent. <laughs> I love cinnamon sugar, and I love cinnamon. But tell me why when I smell this, it smells like Michael's Craft Store. Anyone else? If you have this, let me know. But it's giving Michael's Craft Store, which I don't hate. I don't hate but I think they could have, based on their other kind of bakery 
scents. I think they could have done better with this. So I'm going to give it a two for scent because I don't hate it, but it's not amazing. However, I'm going to give it a three for color. It's a really nice kind of nude lip. But <laughs> That's cinnamon bun. All right, moving on to number 13 is the vanilla mint. So I do want to compare this one to candy cane, which came out the winter previous to this past winter. Again, one of just those beautiful shimmery shades. You can kind of see the glow there. I'm going to put it up against candy cane because candy cane has more pink and gold, whereas the vanilla mint has more kind of like green turquoise. They both have a rainbow of color, but there are some colors that stand out a little bit more. These two, because they have that clear base with the shimmer suspended, these both just make your lips look so juicy. This is like a lip filler product if you don't like a cooling sensation. It's the effect that these give. They're just so lovely. And the scent on Vanilla Mint is very Vanilla Mint. It, it really reminds me of like Andy's Mint Candies. And I want to compare that to Candy Cane. Now I have gone through two of the Candy Cane ones. And to me, the candy cane, when I first got it, it was definitely like um, Thin Mint. And that's kind of what this one gives. I would almost say, do you know what? This smells more like a York Peppermint Patty. Like it's that cooling mint, whereas this is more of true peppermint. But that doesn't make sense because that is peppermint. There is a slight difference in the mint, but I don't. If you have one, you definitely don't need the other, and they could very well be the same. There's something slightly different in the mint to this, but don't, if you have one, you don't need the other. The color change of the shimmers, I don't think is going to make a massive difference. Looking at them, it's pretty much the same. Almost like there's just a little blue tint to the gel part, actually. The shimmers look exactly the same now that I'm looking at them. You don't need both. They both smell great, very similar in scent. I'm trying to pick apart to justify why they would release the second one, but I, I, I don't think they needed to other than like the slight update to the gel color. They're identical. You don't need both, but three and three for color and scent. I think they could have done something newer, fresher, if you will. All right, for number 15 and 16, they did do a release with Poppy. I really like Poppy. I haven't tried the Cranberry Fizz Poppy, which is the first one that we'll talk about. But I do really love the Raspberry Rose, the Cola, and the Ginger Lime. Oh. You can make a mean margarita mocktail with that ginger lime. Anyways, on to this. This one, it's a nice kind of pinky red. I think to show you, I'll compare it against the apple shade. So this one is another, both of these actually for Poppy are the cream. So here you have candy apple, which is Oh, the smell. It's really getting me. Really good. You'll see that because it's that gel formula, it's much more sheer. This is almost like a more pink and a more pigmented because of the cream finish version of that. I will say, I think they could have done better with the cranberry. I love cranberry. Anything food, drink, and smell wise, this didn't do it for me. It almost smells slightly medicinal to me. The color is nice. It's not my favorite color. So I'm going to give it a two and a two. I think they could have done better with the cranberry scent. It's not really reminding me of anything. It's just kind of, yeah, almost medicinal like a syrup, but like a really tart fruit. Ugh, I don't know. Not my favorite. Um, same with the color. So I'm going to give it a two and a two. It might be the perfect color for you. You might love the scent for any of these. But that's my assessment. I was a little disappointed in that. And then rounding us out on the final one 
And also another poppy is the Raspberry Rose. I think it's rose. I hope it's not rose. The packaging never has the little rose mark. Do you know what I mean? This one you'll see is kind of like a sheer Barbie pink compared to that like red of candy apple or like the kind of bright coral pink. It's like a red coral pink. Well, coral is red and pink. So, or coral is orange and pink or orange and red. So I feel like this is probably a pinky coral, whereas the fruit punch, I'll swatch that, is more of a true orange coral with just a touch of pink. Kind of see the difference there. See how much more orange that one is. It's just a very bright pink. I don't know. Raspberry Rosé is kind of a Barbie pink. So you'll see the Barbie pink next to the cranberry, Barbie pink next to candy apple and fruit punch. This one has a true rose scent to it, which is so interesting because the poppy drink, I don't taste any of the rose because I am not a rose fan. I don't get a lot of berry. It's mostly just rose with a hint of some kind of fruit. Again, not my favorite color, but I will give the color a three because it is beautiful. It's like that perfect Barbie pink. I think it was also kind of in time with all of the Barbie pink that we saw flooded. However, the scent, I just don't like rose. If you like rose, you will love this. I'm not a fan. Give it a one. And there you have it. All right, I'm having a chaotic day, but had to batch film, so thank you for bearing with me. I've inserted swatches at this point. I hope they were helpful. As you can see, I'm going to give final thoughts. I think that there have been some hits in their most recent releases, namely the Vanilla Mint, but we already had that, the Pina Colada, which is great, but the one that takes the cake for me is Fruit Punch. This now sits in probably my top three of all of the lip glazes, which is cookie, berry, and fruit punch. And I kind of run the gamut of a warm coral, a nice kind of berry red, and a nude. This is pretty much all I need. I love these. However, it is something that I will continue to collect. I hope that they really hone in on what they think the customer wants. I would love to see a breakdown of how well these sell. I've heard from multiple people that berry and cookie is in their top picks mine too girl and i feel like the only one that's serving this second time around is fruit punch og mcdonald's orange drink let me know if you loved it too that said i've got my eye on the next releases we'll see we'll see in beauty please grace us with some more fruit some more bakery that is true to its name and maybe draw some inspiration from Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot because I would love to have something in that scent that doesn't give me an instant migraine. Uh, but yeah, I hope you found this helpful. I will see you hopefully in the next one. And until then, I hope you take care of yourself and have a wonderful week. Bye.